Yeah, I mean, we, you know, I think the nice thing about what we're doing in our program is we're doing it for all patients on targeted therapies. Um, what we're also doing now in our group is looking at patients that have surgical resection and seeing if you can measure circulating tumor DNA in the blood after surgery, um, particularly curative intent surgery, and using that as a marker of minimal residual disease. Um, we're also now using this approach for patients that are on chemotherapy and not necessarily a targeted agent and immunotherapy. Um, to see what happens in the blood for these patients. So, um, you know, I think if you have the resources to do it, and we're doing it under a single protocol, but it's basically we're now doing it for all of our all of our patients. Um, we're also using it in the setting of radiation to see what happens to circulating tumor DNA in the blood over the course of radiation. So I think there's a lot of different ap applicabilities and just understanding the limitations of the various liquid biopsy um, techniques and as Dr. Lenz mentioned in his discussion as well, maybe the use of um, circulating tumor RNA in the future as well. Um, so there's a lot of different applications and we'll, um, I think we'll just have to see you know, which technology is the right technology and how to best use these in particularly a resource constrained environment.